Hi guys. Not much to do today. There's that Range Rover, it's still parked there. You can see it's parked at an angle. And in a puddle. Weird. Well, I'm going to dissect this, because it did die on me. It died on me last night. I'll put it this way, on the fastest setting, I think a snail could uh, have spun the blades a lot faster. And that's still spinning freely. But it just does nothing when I turn it on, it just hums. Um, so I think the motor's actually uh, given up the ghost. Perhaps the windings are just too worn on the motor. I've had it a good three or four years myself, and it's ran almost every night since. Um, it does not, does not have power supply nearby, so just unravel this. I could have plugged it into the air extension socket underneath there, but yeah, it's easier just to walk through there. Right. Is it turned on? Did I turn it on? No, I didn't. That's a good job I checked. <coughs> okay. Back this way. Ouch. <coughs> oh, sugar. Right. Plug it in. And I'll turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, that's really, really struggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's dead. It's good if I got a spare. Right. Well, I suppose it gives us something to uh, dissect. I'm guessing that's like a suppressor cap or something. A little suppressor. Stop interference. There it is. I'll take that off there. Uh, yeah, I figured. Well, it's definitely Sinbad, though. I mean, look at the state of the bloody thing. All the back is broken. The little adjuster thing here, all the tabs is broken, so I can't actually uh, do it up tightly. But I'm going to dissect. I have disconnected the plug, haven't I? Yeah. No, no. I'll let I'm tripping over it. Yeah, I've got my other one sitting Beep. just there. <laughs> I'll get that one out later tonight, as and when I need it. That's what I came in here for. My cutters. <coughs> I might as well take the top bit off. that, snip through the wire, and then in theory, if I undo this all the way, I should be able, I may need two hands for this, just a second. switch unit a bit easier. Mm. You can actually take that motor apart when I actually do that. Then it'll just get, well, most of it is metal, so 
That base bit will be um, thrown on the scrap trailer. Along with most of that bit. But I think... We should have a look at this. Right, so what I'm going to do... Make a bit of room. My arms aren't too bad today. They're, <laughs> they're healing after uh, dragging that up. I'm sitting that on there and I'll just grab the tripod. So I can work with uh, two hands. Stick them on there like that. Right. I hate this tripod, but <coughs> I've got nothing else to use. Dodgy videotape. A couple of flathead screwdrivers. Yeah, I'm going to want a Phillips. Oh, never mind. No Phillips. Make a little bit of room. Get some light on the subject. Drag you this way and hey presto. None. I hate this tripod. I really, really do. There. It's a Micromark brand. Was. It's going to be a dissected Micromark brand. Like I said, I got it second hand. Or used, because it was going to be thrown away. And I got it. Oh. It really has to be about four years ago now. So it's done me well. Served its purpose and now it is dead. I mean the motor arm is spinning perfectly fine so I don't think my usual trick of putting oil down on the um, motor shaft would work. I think the um, coil itself is probably gone. Interesting bits and bobs in here. We may, um, we may have to take this out all in one piece if I can. Get rid of Ugh. some oily where the oil is ran down. It. Oh, there's neon in this as well. You don't see them a lot these days. I'll have that neon out of there because I've actually got a use for it. Should have a resistor in circuit. Right, I'll get the screw out of that later. Okay, so I'm going to take the flex grip off. I'm more interested in the um, actual switch unit itself. But uh, to get to that second screw that holds it all in place, I've got to take the cord grip off. There we go, so I'm going to move it out of the way. And we can get to that. And get to our little buttons. No idea how it works. I can't. So that would be that way up, so we'd have speed one, which would be that one, speed two, speed three, night light, off. Well, I can't see anything in these switches that change the speed, it's just different wires. <laughs> Quite simply. Well, that's the earth. That's another earth that goes up to the motor. And we've got four colours here. Red comes. Oh yeah, that would want it because that's the light. So we've got a red that comes off to the light, and a red. That's your fastest speed. A red one. A 
white one is your medium speed, the blue one is uh, slowest speed, black one is ground, so that goes straight up to the motor and come, or neutral I should say, not ground. Yeah. Is that connected to the blue on here? Oh, sorry. Yeah, ooh. Got red connected to the um, neutral as well. Okay. <laughs> and blue. Hang on. I may have to just snip the um, zip tie holding this together so I can actually spread the wires out and see what's going on here. That's ground. Right, and that's the earth. Right. Now that's better. Let's see what I'm bloody doing there. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, I've got it now. So one of the red wires go to the um, neon light. So that is actually neutral. So that black wire is definitely the neutral from the motor. It connects to the neutral on the mains power cable, which is here. Mains power goes into the bottom switch here. And then those three are your three speeds that go up to the motor. Ah, I wonder if it's done by um, different windings on the motor. Because I can't see no resistors or anything on that that would um, be used to change the um, speed of the motor. So it must be done somehow up here. It'll be an interesting look, wouldn't it? Let's get the cage off. Now, getting the fan blade off might actually be a trick, a bit tricky because uh, <laughs> I super glued it on. Because, um, the little nut there, right on the front there, well I suppose you'd call that a nut, this bit, that and um, the thread went on this. So to stop it from falling off while it was spinning, I, in my infinite wisdom, super glued it on. So I've got to try and crack super glue, just like that. So, <laughs> Turn it the wrong way, that's why I forgot to reverse thread. Right. Just left half of it on the bloody ear. Uh, well, that super glue worked really, really well. Uh, not sure how I'm going to get this off yet. Ooh. Can I just raise you up a little bit? So hard to balance them bloody tripods. But, uh, yeah. Oh, can I get behind there and just get that nut off? Is that possible? No, nope, because I can't grip it. So this, one way or another, has got to come off. Yeah, that's a little bit easier said than done. <laughs> uh, 
Right. I anyway got a little piece of uh, steel wool. I did somewhere. Where did I see it? Here we go. See if I can just clean that super glue off the threads. Oops. Uh, that's what's happened. Maybe. Possibly. Well and truly got that goat up. Fix something and then regret the way you did it afterwards. Because <laughs> I certainly have. There we go. Hey! That's all I needed to do. That, get rid of that. Now, in the front of this, we've got four screws. Are we in shop? Yeah. Good. This is just how the motor is fixed to this plastic plate. Four screws. That is it. That's all that holds it all together. One more. rotor arm is rotating fine so there's not a problem there. I'm just going to uh, take that suppressor cap off. Off. All the wires go into the motor, so I presume there's three different windings in here that controls each of the speeds. I presume. That's the only method I could think of, but I'm not going to open it up anyway, so let's take this back. Oh, sorry about that. Ugh, got oil running out of this. Definitely well lubed up. Get the earth wire off out of the way. Now, I think it would be interesting to take this apart because uh, there's only four screws holding it together with a nut. So I'll just loosen the screw off like that and hold the nut. And Hey presto. Trying to keep it as in a 
as much in shot as possible. Mush, mush in shot. Mush in shot. I was going to do this video as a vlog, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just put it up as a separate video like this. Dissecting a fan. Cool. You always get one. Always get one. That's tight to get off. And usually you always get one. That's a bitch. Right, so, in theory, here we go. There's one. Yep, there is three different windings on this. Huh. Could it be this little gizmo here that's gone, maybe? Whatever it is. Ooh. Mind you, the insulation on this uh, coil here didn't don't look too good, does it? <laughs> well, that is literally all it is. With the oh, I got come off is it? Yeah, you got the magnet on the shaft. Hmm. I'm not sure it's supposed to do that. I think the bearing might be a bit um bearing could be, I don't know, maybe it is meant to do that. But yeah, I can actually see three different windings on this. There's two this side at funny angles of each other. If I do that you can probably see them. there's one there and one there. But I presume they're separate windings anyway. Uh, da -da -da. That's to suppress cap wires. I'm just trying to... There's only the one winding it seems on this side. Well, it really does look a little bit worn out on here. Ah. Red wire, white wire. I'm just trying to see if I can find where each of the wires go. Well, yeah, I think it's safe to say speed's done with this. I think it's safe to say that uh, this is knackered. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, it don't smell burnt out, though, but I suppose if the magnet itself has gotten weak... I actually may have because uh, it's not very well I presume that was it's that's meant to be a magnet mind you that is a bit stiff to turn assembled it is a uh, rotating fire. Oh, so I say it's because it's getting stuck on gook at that end. Yeah, okay. You want from uh, casing? <laughs> All these parts. Is there anything? Some sort of plastic washer just fell off. My bounds are fine even after all these years. Wow. Well, there we have it. There's the motor. 
suppress the cap wires. We've got the cap over here. It's got, if you want to know what it is, if I hold it up the right way for the camera. There we go. You can read all that. Can, uh, research that if you so wish. And there we go. One fan, one dead fan. Well, certainly a dead fan now. <laughs> All in bits. Most of this I'll scrap. That's scrap. I know a man that'll have that, so I'll scrap that. And that old. I've got an old phone cable here. I'll take that to mum's. That. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button, that's much appreciated. And uh, subscribe for more videos. I'll do my best to try and find more things we can uh, pull apart. I will keep hold of that. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm going to clean up this mess. So, um, Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.